guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tia, aka Teacup Simmer, and this is another part of our Cat Tail series. And we are back in the Sunrise Colony, you guys, with Dawn Star, who has been very busy over this past year expanding her den and finding a mate, which was Fire Tail. Fire Tail just stole Dawn's heart, and so now they are currently expecting kits, which I am super excited about, you guys. You have no idea. But right now, what we're going to be working on is just kind of playing around in cattails. This series is going to be more relaxed than it has been in the past, I think. I've been playing around with this and it's just one of those series that I really enjoy, but I don't want to make it as serious as some of our other series where we spend a lot of time on story and a lot of time on um, a lot of extensive like world building right now we would really want to focus on is just playing around seeing how dawn star likes her home we have um, a couple skirmishes to focus on in the corners we kind of want to make sure we we keep our territory protected because currently we are expecting kits and i think once we start having those kits and we want to start training them we want to make sure that our territory is safe for them to train in so let's see if we can go check out the rest of the colony see if what other changes dawnstar has made and see if we like them so it looks like we have a few changes we have some new styles. We finally have a shopkeeper who is currently named Peanut, who has an interesting color pattern and an interesting name. If you guys wanna change that, please let me know down in the comments below. And we can always make some updates to Peanut's name and coloring because that's one of those things we can do with our custom colony. Moon has been working very hard on helping us putting up the wall around the colony we currently have about four entrances to the colony but we want to make sure that the walls that we do have are very um secure so currently we're just putting those up that's what we're saving some of our muse for is to put up walls and to find some more temp more styles of architecture so we can keep expanding the colony because I find this very fun. Um, let's check out the task board. It was an update to the 1.3 update of Cattails, which I actually very much enjoy. This update, this is really fun, especially when you're talking about things to do on a regular basis in the colony because sometimes you just don't have an idea of what things to focus on and I think the daily tasks are really fun. Um, this task is bringing three seashells, which I think Dawn Star has in her stash of things so we can check that but we can accept this task and see if she has that in her storage. Firetail I think thinks it's a little funny that Dawn Star has so much storage. Let's check this one. Here we are, three seashells. And let's sort that. We may, I don't think we'll check, I don't think we'll go to like any mines or anything like that today. I think we're just gonna focus on checking out the territory, making sure that everything is fine. And I think we're going to go, let's see, Bright Stripe. Do we have any areas that we wanna take over? Let's strategize. Um, I want to get rid of these areas. I feel like they're unnecessary. So let's start with the forest colony area over there and kind of work our way down to the bottom of the map so we can expand our influence. We want to make sure that we have a good foothold on the map and that we don't have to worry too much about what things, what colonies we're going to have to fight on any given day. Ooh, there's a toad. There we go. I don't see any fish. Dawn's are a little hungry. Oop, the forest colony has decided to come and try and take over this area. They're not going to succeed. There we go. Captain, you did such a good job. Hmm, I think I smell some catnip nearby. I hope my nose is right. I don't think there's catnip. Or no, there is, but it doesn't look like it's in bloom at the moment. No, the bunny ran away. I think it's still over here. Bunny? There's lots of bunnies. So let's see if we can get it. Nope. Come on, Dawn. Let's see if you can get this one. She spent most of her time fighting at this moment. Is there anything else over here? There's a squirrel. Let's see if she can get the squirrel. Can she get the squirrel? Come on. 
Get the squirrel. Oh, nope, it ran away. It was too frightened. Maybe we can get this frog, because she's getting hungry and we want to make sure we feed her. And I think we still have one more fight over in this area. So we want to make sure that we kind of canvas the entire territory, make sure that we still hold all of the territories fairly well. We don't want to have to fight anyone all the time. There we go. Right now I'm trying to figure out what we're going to do about um, her potential kits soon. I don't know if you guys um, have ideas for names already, but most of the time everyone already does have names picked out. But they're all going to be, all of our kits are probably going to be very um, orangish, very calico-y. Um, we may have like a very interesting mix of like stripes and calico spots. So if you guys have ideas for names, let me know down in the comments. I'm not sure when we're going to have kits. It's one of those, one of the few things in Cattails that doesn't have a concrete number they just kind of say anytime between like these five to six months so hopefully that we'll figure it out soon so we don't have to wait too long because firetail already said she wants to, or they have one have kids um let's see we got two more tiles left there's a toad here i think we can take out there we go Ooh, let's see if we can use some of our golden seal just to make sure that we keep up our health and sort through all of our stuff. Can we use? Yeah, let's use this. Solidify our influence in this area too. It's very interesting to see like how far Dawnstar has come from basically drowning in the river to canvassing her own per her own colony's territory. I'm just so proud of her. And now we're just picking up a bunch of snake lily because we're going to need it. There we go. So fighting the mystic colony. Yay, take out Xander. Take him out. There we go. And we have Muse to pick up. See, we're doing so well. And we're back to solidifying that area. Let's go down here. Everybody's running away from me. Let's see if we can pick up this frog. It's getting close to 5.30. We've already talked to Brightstripe about expanding or just expanding the territory a bit. So we don't have to worry about trying to talk to them again. Um, let's see. It is autumn, so there's aren't that many like interesting foods and things to pick up. So we might go back and use some of the muse that we've picked up to expand the wall that we've been working on. Because it is important. We do want to make sure that the wall is the the area that we have set up to protect the colony is very sturdy. Ooh, blackberries. Here we go. And there's our little entrance. I think we're missing... Yeah, we're missing a blue... Because I use these to mark the entrances. I think we're missing a blue bush here. Am I going to add another bush here? And we're going to be going to move some of the rocks. So let's see if we can use some of these muse to do that. And oh wait, we still need to increase our storage because we don't have our prey pile anymore. And we want to make sure that we show everyone that we still care about their well-being and we still want everyone to be happy and full. So let's take some of our food from our storage. Um, some of these rabbits. Some of these frogs. There we go. Let's just sort that so I don't have to worry about sorting it later. And then we're just going to put down, I think, at least one for every cat. So we can show that we spent most of the day trying to make sure everyone was going to be fed in the colony. So that's three. Four. 
four, five, six, and seven. Once we have kits, we'll have to expand this, but right now that's just the prey pile that we have. It's just going to be a thing for me to say that, oh, this is what we're spending our time doing, is making sure that the entire colony is fed. So we have 208 mews. Do we have enough to increase our walls? No, let's go to the shop. I think I hit the wrong button. So 200. There we go. Awesome. So let's manage the colony. Build menu. Okay, so we need to select a structure. Okay, so we have blue. So it's currently cottage style, which is what we need. So we need one here. There we go. And then we need to change the style to plain. No, not plain, which is it? Is it shabby? Nope. Forest, forest is it. So we'll put that down here. Um, let's see, so let's use this, can we do that, how do we do removal, I forgot, removal tool. Is it enter? No. Space. Close. Escape. No. I don't remember. Manage colony. Build menu. Oh, that's why we can't move it. Because it's not one of ours. Got it. Um, let's do this. So move the wall, change the style to mountain style, and place that there. Place, 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 place. And then we can change this to Forest style. No, it won't work there. So let's change this to cottage. What was the other one? Highland style. There it is. Let's put that here and put that here. Let's move these. Yeah, let's leave that there. And then change this to back to walls. And put that here. And then put that there. Cool. So it looks a little bit better. So we have one entrance here, and then another entrance over here, and then we have that entrance there. I feel like we need to close this. Um, let's change this to removal, and add walls, let's change the style to forest style. This one can be cottage style, I think is the one. Yeah, that's it. There we go. And look, now it's all now it's all like closed off and stuff. I'm happy. And then we have this little area of stuff. Um I'm trying to think if I like the crystals are actually pretty cute. I don't remember what style that is though. Oh, it's called crystal style. <laughs> I'm smart you guys, I promise I went to college. Um 
Let's put... Forest style here. Because these aren't really walls. I'm just kind of decorating at this point. I think it's Puede. There we go. And I don't know if we have any other structures. There's a task for doctor's den, shopkeeper's den, guard's den. We have all of the dens pretty much. So we have all of the placeable objects outside of the walls. And the only thing left is to either move stuff around or to get new styles to kind of spruce everything up. So if you guys like the way the colony looks, let me know down in the comments below. Please let me know if you guys have any ideas about whether or not you like um, Penny's look or if you want to change that. I'm kind of excited <laughs> about maybe some of the changes that are happening. I might change either Bright Stripes Den or Penny's Den. I'm not positive about that yet, but you guys can let me know down in the comments. And it is nine o'clock, so it is time to go to bed or close to time to go to bed. It's almost, 9 30 fire tail why aren't you asleep why aren't you asleep fine good day love what's on your mind seem like a good a day as any to restock our earth supplies i might head out and look for some it's nine o'clock you shouldn't go that far you might be expecting kids i i i am very uncomfortable with this you should you should listen to me okay i think this is where we're gonna end this part right here you guys if you enjoy this series please let me know down in the comments if you really enjoyed it please leave a like and please subscribe if you really love me and i will see you guys next time bye